hello students welcome back in this video we will discuss one more hexagonal prism in the previous sessions we discussed hexagonal prism one of the corners of its base on hp base makes an angle of some inclination with respect to hp and one more problem rectangular face is on hp also we discussed if you wish to see that particular problem you can check the description box for a link read the question a hexagonal prism side of base 24 mm and axis 55 mm long rests with one of the edges of its base on hp such that its base containing that edge makes an angle of 45 degree to hp and its axis is parallel to vp draw its projections so first of all we will check what is the position of hexagon with respect to xy so if you take two options base edge on hp base corner on hp if the base edge on hp on base corner on hp we will check the positions this is corner on hp one point one corner of hexagon is touching hp after rotation of 90 degree in clockwise this is the top view of hexagon position if as per our condition edge of its base so this is base edge on hp this base edge which is exactly on hp after the rotation of 90 degree that edge becomes perpendicular to xy as per first angle projection now we know what is the position of hexagon in the top view so this is how one edge is on hp so one edge is on hp after the rotation of 90 degree this is our final hexagon position in the top view with this we will proceed draw xy and complete the hexagon with respect to our position given notations on side of hexagon is 24 mm and give notations uh, as two hexagonal uh, hexagonal prism we are having two hexagon one at the bottom another one at the uh, top face base and the top face one we may use it as one two three four five six another one f to f so we can extend the projectors from all the corners extend the projectors from all the corners what is the axis height it is 55 mm so fix the axis complete the front view here no need to represent it as an axis exactly one edge one longer edge is on the axis so we can draw it as a continuous thick line as an observer if you are standing here this three corner will be visible which one if it is the bottom face in the front view which one will be the uh, bottom face one two three four five which is represented in the bracket must be the base if it is the base if you see from the top the base is invisible that's why one two three four five six is in the bracket in the front view if you are as an observer standing here two three four is visible five six one is invisible that must be in the bracket one dash Y dash 6 dash must be in the bracket similarly b c d is visible a dash must be in the bracket f dash must be in the bracket e dash is invisible from here okay so this is the simple position of hexagonal prism now we have to fix the edge of its base which base this is the base edge must be inclined to at an angle of 45 degree to hp we can keep uh, ed45 edge or we can go for with edge this side so i'm always preferring the right so we can draw a 45 degree inclination thin line on that we can fix this base edge this base you measure the distance from 2 dash 1 dash to 4 dash 5 dash the exact length must be used to draw on this inclination line one side must touch as xy this is 4 dash 5 dash which meaning is 4 5 edges on hp 4 dash 5 dash at the mid we are having 3 dash 6 dash at the end 2 dash 1 dash this length must be reproduced on 45 degree inclination now you can complete this rectangle rectangle this is 90 degree you measure the length it is 55 here it is 90 complete your entire rectangle in the front view and uh, give a same notations no need to change anything use same notations now step 3 is completed 
first step four always similar procedure of first family members meeting at a single point so we will start with a one so a and one are the same projector and from here this is one dash you extend the projector and mark it as one one both are meeting at this point so this is two dash here we are having two we will complete the base first one two three four five six so here it is two projector extended both are meeting at this point make it as two one similarly three and six so where is three here it is three and both are meeting at this point make it as three one then six the extender projector this point is six one finally four dash and five dash extender projector this is four one from here four already extender this is five one okay five one four dash five dash exactly on hp if you see from the top this both the corners are invisible from the top that's why it is represented inside the bracket so bottom bay face or base of hexagon is completed now we will move on to the top face of hexagonal prism this a b c d e of hexagon so you extend the projectors like from a dash here it is a both are meeting at this point similarly here it is b from here b is extended then c dash and f dash this is c c and 3 so we extend and mark it as c1 and this is f1 so if you see from here f1 this is c1 finally d dash and e dash extend here it is e here it is d so d1 and e1 so we marked all the respective corners of both top and bottom face now we always start with the boundaries or outer edges of the solid so we start with boundaries or outer edges of the solid 1 1 2 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 3 1 2 c 1 c 1 2 d 1 d 1 to e 1 e 1 to f 1 f 1 to 6 1 then 6 1 to 1 1 this is the boundary or outer edges of the solid if you see from here this top face hexagon a to f all the corners will be visible from the top so we will complete that hexagon first so f 1 to a 1 a 1 to b 1 a b1 to c1 top face is completely visible what about these corners if you check from here if you check from the top only this uh, 2 dash 1 dash 3 dash 6 dash must be visible so 6 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 already we made it as visible 5 dash and 4 dash is exactly on hp so 3 to 4 dash 3 to 4 and 5 to 6 so it is invisible bottom face invisible so we can make it as a hidden line 5 to 6 and 5 to 4 finally 3 to 4 so this is invisible from the top always you remember bottom half this is the bottom half always invisible from the top that's the shortcut if you wish to check the shortcuts of hidden lines again check the description box for that particular video of projection of solid position shortcut step number one and step number four hidden lines has been explained clearly in one particular video okay then one one two a one we can check remaining longer edges longer edges this one dash to a dash if you see from the top it is clearly visible so we can make it as continuous thick line similarly 2 dash to b dash is visible from the top so we can make that as, as a visible line continuous thick line now what about e dash c dash to 3 dash it is already connected then f dash to 6 dash already connected remaining is e to 5 d dash to 4 dash so it is invisible from the top if you see from here you can able to see only the corner but this longer edge is invisible we can make that as a hidden line e1 to 51 so this is visible that's why from a1 to e1 we made it as a invisible then similarly d1 to d1 to b1 
which is uh, 4 dash 2 d dash which is invisible from the top so this is the final answer of this question once again if you wish to check a similar kind of hexagonal prism where uh, axis makes an inclination with respect to hp edge is on hp if you wish to check corner on hp edge makes an inclination with respect to hp those problem you can check the description box for a link okay and while uh, drawing this edge make sure that one edge which is touching on hp so here e d r four five four to five is the edge which is touching hp it makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to x y or with respect to hp